I don't always dash But when I do It's a dash shake Ladies and gentlemen, do you recognize that rumble? Or can read a video title. I present to you my favorite aircraft that I got so far. So uh, out of these top five, it is... Uh, the Q400! Dash 8. So if, if you love dashing, you're, you're going to love this plane. Uh, bad joke. All right, so yeah, as you, as you can tell, we're doing the Dash, uh, dash 8 Q400 today. And my gosh, this is my favorite plane that I've gotten so far and that you're going to see out of this series. It is absolutely so much fun to fly. Great details and some really cool plugins that come with the aircraft. So without further ado, let's go back to cockpit view. Let's have a look around the cockpit. Now again, beautifully detailed. Everything, everything's there, you know. You got your little, uh, you know, windshield. That's always important. But yeah, no, you have all your screens. You have... Um, everything else that you can push buttons buttons are always nice um but no everything is of course we got our fully modeled nice little dwarf thing around the corner here we got your co-pilot station so if you ever want to have a uh, phil come over and fly your plane with you you can do that as well and of course uh it does have auto feather on by default but if you want you can play around with the feathering of the props i'm not going to do that because i will probably break the airplane um even if it's in flight sim of course, everything else is functional. You got your radio autopilot, everything else. We go around in the autopilot. Um, and yeah, so you got all your other systems looking good. And of course, as always, no smoking. Um, yeah, and the cool thing is that, like I mentioned before, it does come with some uh, plugins too. So you see WO here. Click the first one is wait. Now, this is flipping cool. You can literally customize your entire aircraft's weight seat by seat literally and it's just amazing you can say who you want there male female child other and some are r winter random it's 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 literally that great if you want a light load go light medium heavy save loads do everything you else oh my gosh it's just amazing how much detail is in here um as well as you have another little menu here you can have the yoke awesome not really sure why you need millibars because we use just everything mercury nowadays um, you can't open the passenger doors. Engine has to be off for safety. <sighs> Just listen, listen to that aircraft. And you know, swore them down. And you know what? I'm flying out of Pearson right now, but we should be flying out of Billy Bishop as a uh, as Porter or something, because they give you a lot of skins that come with this aircraft. Eh? And of course, everything else. Blew Insides there too, beautifully animated door and gear and everything else. So I am gonna just switch the skins and I will meet you back at Toronto Center. It's gonna be a Jeff. Uh, flight, flight configuration. Here we are, Toronto without a sand tower and stuff for some reason. Explain, you guys need to work on that scenery or someone. Um, just like many other aircraft in this, the spoilers do arm on landing. Nice little input right there. And of course it does have full reverse as well. So if I just put it into full reverse right now, we will start going backwards. You know, I ju it's just one of those little touches, you know, that they do have that. And it's actually um, automatically set on your controls. I have the uh, X5500, correction. I have the X55 uh, SATEC controller and it automatically added like the, uh, reverse when I have it fully down so that's a really nice feature just have to remember when I'm flying not to do that or else there might be a, a bit of a hiccup while flying so let's just screw the uh, airspeeds here let's just go uh, start flying here add some flap listen to that wonderful background noise of the uh, turbo props and get going oh my god that fuel truck is gonna hit us ah! will we make it will we make it ah! Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we totally made that, guys. That guy... Yeah, I know. We're gonna have to write a uh, Kador for that, though, because, uh... I think that guy's gonna lose his driver's license. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Um, wonderful city of Toronto, if it was all the same. 
building pretty much copy and pasted and the CN Tower turns into a giant Bora cube. But yeah, it handles great. And again, I can't really say anything because I don't fly the Q400 in real life. But if I did, I bet I'd be pretty happy right now. Because again, Porter, again, non-sponsored. But it's a, it's an awesome airline out of an awesome airport. What can I say? Totally not biased at all, right? So again, the aircraft itself is beautifully modeled. So you have the sounds, you have the 3D modeled air aircraft, you have the cockpit, everything else, nice soft shading. You, overall, super happy with this aircraft. Beautifully animated as well, as you can see here. Let's, uh, let's give it a land. And yeah, again, like they, they did very well with the aerodynamics of this aircraft too, because it feels like a Q400. Again, not that I would know. Yes, full, uh, full brakes, full brakes, full reverse thrust. Technically not really allowed to use that, but yeah. Shit. I believe I can. I believe I can swim an airplane. I think uh, Q400s are pretty good in the Olympic sport of uh, being a boat. So, um, you did not miss an accident. I totally did not become a boat. Um, we've always been WestJet on this island. Um, Port Porter used to fly here, but there, there was an incident that uh, may or may not have happened. So yeah, so for liveries, um, you already saw Porter, the White, and the WestJet. But yeah, so you do have a few airlines here. If you see yours, then great job. You should get yours. And I even have Air Berlin. Yay! Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, everyone. Again, this was the Q400-8. Highly recommend it. This is a non-sponsored video. This is just me looking for aircraft and just showing them off, you know? They, uh, they just tickle my fancy. It's a good plane. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And as always, happy landings.